when you see those dancing piggy banks, you know what it means. It's Mike Apple time. Good morning, Mike. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Doing all right. Good a little morning. bit tired. Uh, so you stayed up. I stayed up to watch majority of the debate, as okay. whatever I could. For us on a morning show, nine o'clock start of a debate. That is rough. That is rough to you try know what to stay they, with. You know what they could? You know what they could do, Melanie? What? You know what they could do? Instead of having it at nine o'clock mm -hmm. to have uh, you know the West Coast start at six, maybe have another debate. Ooh. Maybe one in Alberta or in BC. There's an idea. Am I sensing sarcasm? Yes, you are. Okay. All right. I like Mike Apple's sarcasm. Because we've had two in, two, in, two in French, one in English, and now we got a vote. And I'm reading, you know, social media commentary such that it is this morning. Apparently, that debate was a gong show, so I may or may not watch it. Do and you... I have yet to see. I have yet to see any canvassers at my door. There have been no local debates. Maybe there was one, but it was uh, sort of a closed door kind of thing. Get out and have some debates, more please, because you know, because we have to basically base our judgment on such a, a short-term prospect of next to no information other than talking points. Well, there you go. Please. Advanced polls already open today exactly. or, or at 9 this morning. So we'll see what turnout looks like for that if people have already made up their minds. But do you think any viewers got anything out of here when it comes to affordability out of this debate? Well, look, they're all talking about, oh, we're going to make life more affordable, whether it's in housing or the cost of living. And then I look at the markets and I say, yeah, good luck. Aluminum prices are at a 13-year high this morning. Guess what? That makes everything more expensive because it's in, you know, car and truck production, tin can production, uh, you know, consumer goods, anything packaged in aluminum. That's a problem. Natural gas prices this morning going up to a, an eight-year high. Uh, still relatively inexpensive, comparably speaking, on a historic basis, but they're going up. The market does what the market does, and you hear politicians saying, oh, we're going to you know, make things life better for you. Yeah, it takes any type of policy, takes months, if not years, to be enacted and then take effect. Housing, case in point, sure, you can work around the edges on the, on the housing market, but uh, you know, getting prices down. I did, I did see a, a clip from uh, the NDP leader uh, saying you know, they want to make, uh, make it more affordable for first-time home buyers, but at the same time, don't want to bring down the equity value that mm -hmm. Canadians have in their current property ownership, which they're basing their retirement plans on. So it's a pretty tough challenge. Absolutely. Um, Mike, have you been to the movie theater yet? No. During the pandemic? No, no but, okay. but people are going back. Oh, yeah. Um, AM, AMC in the United States uh, just had the biggest Labor Day box office they had seen in eight years. You know, Shang-Chi, huge movie, free guy, really big. And, you know, people want to get back to the theaters. We're seeing a little bit of that here in the Canadian marketplace as well. Um, but more COVID restrictions still in effect. But then yesterday, the, the new Matrix 4 trailer comes out. And everybody's, you know, freaking out about that, including myself on, on social media. So, yeah, the movie industry is coming back. Top Gun's been delayed a little bit. But, uh, yeah, it's and TIFF's going on right now. Mm -hmm. So, you know, a lot to talk about and actually see because we've been, uh, you know, kind of uh, without uh, new releases or, or big blockbuster uh, events, and maybe they're uh, coming back. And the other thing, too, is, Melanie, uh, for example, uh, Shang-Chi came out only in theaters, not on streaming. Which and that was is a, paying a change, off. Uh, that, was a, that was a change as well. Yeah, yeah, and oh, indeed, the, the numbers yep. prove it is paying off. Um, yep. You're wearing your glasses wearer, Mike. I am, too. <laughs> I, I wear contacts every day here on BT, but um, would you wear glasses that could record special things for you on social media? Yeah, I'm this not big on social media, though, in general, right? Well, no, because I'm old. But uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> ah, the kids today. Anyway, uh, Facebook's uh, teamed up with Ray-Ban for uh, Stories Smart Glasses, which apparently can take pictures and record video. Okay, fine. Are you telling people that you're recording them while you're looking at them through these smart glasses, or is this do those being red done in Yeah, do those secret? red lights go on? Like, is it a dead giveaway want, that you see a little red light? I want a little light? flag to pop out the side saying, you're being recorded. Privacy issues, Mike. I see it's some a big little, problems it's, here. It's a little, yeah, a little creepy. Uh, price point, over $300 a pair for these things. Look, it's... That's not it's, bad, to know, be honest. We, no, it's not. It's not. You're right. And and we've been talking about smart glasses for how many years now? Now they're out. Now you're like thinking, well, wait a second, maybe this isn't the best idea. Right. But it'll sell. So. But, but Ray-Bans in general are pricey. So, well, that's so, true. So the $300 cool. cool. price tag, and they're cool. That's right. Wasn't, uh, what, was it... Christmas was is it right Tom Cruise and Tom Cruise and Risky Business with the glasses coming down? Mm. Is that what the deal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you have to do the slide across.
the shirt, the shirt. I, uh, you know. On carpeting, I'm not sure that's going to work. That's what Mike's going to do this week, and he's, he's an animal. <laughs> All right, Mike, we'll talk to you uh, on Monday. Have a good one. See you later. 617 is what we're sitting at right now. Tomorrow, the 20th anniversary of the horrific attacks.